everybody. How you doing today? It's been a while since I've been on here. But I have a new toy. And uh, I have some neat stuff to show you. As you know, I told you I was going to be getting into astrology. The stars, the planets. And... Um, <laughs> This is a upgraded tripod with the C-Star S50 mounted to it. And I'm going to show you one way of traveling where everything's already assembled. On your uh, tripod. And as you can see, there's another I would just say upgrade to this tripod and I'm going to share it with you because um, call it my gift to the Sea Star community. Something to help all you new ones out there figure out what you really need. This is a budget friendly setup and I'm going to show you a few things in this video and there will be two parts to this video. There will be part two and part three because I have um, upgrades to the C-Star itself. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to take this off. And this is a newer tripod, a budget friendly. The, um, and I'm going to show you where I get these uh, dust caps from too, for the C-Star. And I'm going to set this up. I'm going to move this out of the way. And this tripod bag is 40 bucks <laughs> on eBay. If you wanted to do it this way. This is only one of many different ways or configurations I'm going to show you. And um, you're probably wondering, what the heck? Is that rope around the bottom of that tripod? Well, this is an upgrade, a modification to the, to the tripod to help you set your telescope so you never have to use weights again, ever. That's right, no weights. So what we have here is a newer video tripod and this one is the newer TP37. This is the only one you're going to need. <laughs> and this is the budget one. I think it's going for 80 some dollars, uh, 87 I think on Amazon. Comes with a beautiful fluid, uh, uh, fluid head. And I have some extra accessories that come with it, which I'm going to show you. And some extra, um, of these. These are for your feet. So your tripod does not sit into the ground. And I'll be showing you those. First things first. We have us our little, uh, now, sometimes they use it for tarps or tents. You get it at Menards. Real cheap, $5.99. And what you're going to do is you're going to set this thing in the middle. Pull the tripod away. And you're going to turn this in here. And you're going to turn it in all the way. And what I mean by all the way, I mean... To where it hits the bottom of the ground where you can't push it anymore just like that then you're going to take your tripod and you're going to set it uh just to the side of that preferably toward the back side it really doesn't matter because you're not going to have the sea star over any leg 
after we get done here. You can set it anywhere. Okay. So as you can see, I have this modification underneath here. Rope ratchet. And what I've done is where the handle here is, so you can move this head anywhere you want. I drilled a 3 16th hole, bought me a 3 16th uh, a dowel pin with a little hole in it so you can lock it in there. Don't do what I did, try to guess, the sh <laughs> try to go drill it straight thinking you know, measure it, and it'll come out better. Anyway, you buy another one of these, stick it up inside there, run that pin through it. Now you got a nice solid lock. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring this down to here. And you're just going to lock it on there. Voila. And we'll bring the scope pretty close. Before you do that, <laughs> I got some feet here. I bought these at Menards. You get four of them for 250 but as you can see, I've taken a glue gun and built a ridge up around them. These are actually for roller beds. They got a spot for that roller to sit in there in the carpet. But uh, they're 250 You take them, you build it up with some glue so that your tripod feet sit in here and don't move around. I just did that for decoration. So you're going to take these out. This may be a long video, I don't really know. I'm just doing it on the whims. And just set it in there, just like that. Perfect. Put it under three, three of these. What I like about these is they have spikes all over them and it holds that telescope perfectly in line. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Put your handle on it. This is gonna work for The EQ, Equatorial Setup. And um, just mount this here. And just to let you know that this is a very, very nice for the Sea Star, it's e economical. 87 bucks, you get the tripod in this. Now, the only drawback about this tension thing is you cannot raise this up. The clutches in here aren't strong enough to hold it after you set your weight. So, this is it. This is all how you really need to have it anyway. But what's nice about this is I just take my foot. and start pulling down on it, like so. Now you got a rock solid tripod. It's not going anywhere. You don't need to have it over a leg. You can put it anywhere, okay? This is just a short video to show you what a little ingenuity can do for you. So, again, these you get at Menards. They're $5.99. They're called rope ratchets. This is a quarter inch one. They also make a 16th, which I use for the shorter, the actual Sea Star tripod. Um, okay, so this tripod has a tilt fluid head on it. And I think you could do at least a 30 degree 
uh, graduate. So you could do it on a hill and still be okay. You're not like stuck with the sea star one where you have to adjust the legs to make it level. But EQ, it doesn't have to be perfectly level. So after you get it set, it is rock solid. Even the wind won't blow this one around. So this is just one part of the gift. I have three more parts coming with uh, upgrades and some modifications. But nothing that's going to intrude on your Sea Star, only maybe the tripod. And uh, this is an idea for any tri uh, video head tripod. This one here is particularly excellent. It's smooth. This is also has a fluid head here and a recoil. I could set it like this. It's got a retention spring in it, so it doesn't like slam over. It goes gradually. And as you can see, that's where it goes. You can turn it around. Doesn't matter. This tripod is rock solid. And you're connected to the ground now. I always believe that concrete will always bring harmonic vibrations. For the simple fact, it's very dense. That means any cars going by, any booms, any, uh, your pump in your water pump in your house, all play a vital role in harmonic vibrations. Here, you won't have that problem because you're grounded to the earth. So what do you think? I think this is a fabulous idea and uh, I want to share it with all of you. And I have a video called Spiritual Photography by Jeffrey Z. That's who I am, Jeffrey Z. And um, I hope this helps you out. Like I said, the uh, the, uh, you need a hot remote glue gun. You need some, uh, I did make a modification. That hook right here was not the original hook. It's more like a uh, S hook that's up there. So I took a little Dremel tool and cut it off and installed that one, which makes a whole big difference. I also, at the end of this video, I will show you some close-ups of what I've done here as far as, uh, the rest. And in video two and video three, I'll be talking about the leveler and the problems associated with the leveler and how to fix them so that they, they don't become problems anymore. Okay. Um, thanks everybody. This is a quick video and I know it's kind of out there, but I just want to introduce myself as Jeffrey Z and I will be part of your C star community. And I also have a 3D printer. Unfortunately, I haven't quite found a place I move into yet. But when I do, I'll be getting that online and I'll be making custom feet for your tripods and whatever else. Thanks, everybody. Please subscribe, like, and share. And have a beautiful, gorgeous day. Thank you.